your book um and, and some of it we talked before so i'm aware of it but maybe this is just more for the audience like your book it's going right back to the beginning on the like the geology side like for example when like i said at the start of the podcast when you head out to pangna bay um and there's certain caves and you go and there's cave paintings isn't that supposed to be like thirty thousand years old yeah um in in asia the sea level has gone up and down a lot over the last million years so Pangna Bay, you know, the big cast limestone, which is kind of it all almost looking like how long bay to an extent. Well, it, it's all it, there were the biggest reef in the world used to run from the bottom of Sumatra all the way up to uh, um, Guilin in the middle of China. So you can see it all the way up the peninsula. There's these cast rocks. Yes. And then you see it go through Vietnam. It goes through Sukhothai, goes through Vietnam, Halong Bay. It goes up through central China to Guilin. And it all that, looks the same. That was one big reef when those yeah. seawater. Now, what, when the water falls down, um, it's alkaline rain just dissolves um, limestone or reefs. Mm. So what you're seeing there is the last bits of a map, the biggest reef ever in the world. I mean, you know, the barrier reefs, nothing compared to... And so you get these amazing um, structures. Um, so that's Pangna Bay. And that's what we see in Raleigh and when we're driving. Yeah, all of that. Yeah. I mean, it goes all the way up yeah. the peninsula. You see it, you know, Sukhothai is full, everywhere. That, there's remnants of that reef. Um, so then the sea level fell down. Well, the good thing about it, the caves in there is a good place to hang out, to live. So when the black people left Africa, they came here, right? They, 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 the first residents were here were, were, were blacks. Um, you know, the same guys who walked down to Australia and started the Aborigines. Yeah. But the, you got two types. You got a bigger group, kind of like Papua New Guineans. Um, and you got the smaller, they're called Negritos. Because living in the jungles, it, being smaller work better. Uh, they bred smaller, uh, you know, they don't have malaria. Uh, they just interbreed really quickly. In those days, if you had a tribe of 20 people come in um, to an area with malaria or something, um, they would just wipe out, apart mm -hmm. from the four people who were immune to malaria. So when they rebred, they were immune. It was very quick to change 